Hey, what's up? This is Chris from Daigle Brown Project, crappyawesome.com, and you're watching right. Take 5. Vanilla stay as long as me. If I live to grow old, I hope I leave behind a legacy. So I wonder how I'm still standing like okay, some guy. Okay, so Bleezy, your hometown is where? Houston, Texas. And you're out in California, why? I'm out in California because I wanted an MC. I wanted a be a rapper. I wanted to reach the world through music. I lost hope in most of the things that used to make me smile. No magic left in the world has brought me up as a child. And now I'm damn near grown. Why the fuck do I feel so old? How the fuck do I get back? Time lost in the hole. Your soul changes. Once your body's locked up in chains, the darkness swallowed me up and spit up what remains. So What's the first time you wrote a rap? The first time I, the earliest time I remember writing a rap was probably in sixth grade. It was like a little emo love song. Which made you how old? <laughs> I was probably like 12. 12 years old, and it was an emo love song. Yeah. Then why don't you like me? So why did you write it though? Like what made you like... I was always good at writing growing up. Like I was always good at writing. And like writing just turned into like poetry. And then I just kind of started writing poems. Like a, a diary or yeah. something. Like a form of like, because I have a bad a bad time like talking to people yeah so music was kind of like my way of like expressing myself like for real like because i don't tell nobody what's going on yo society says i need to graduate and find a job but i say fuck that i'd rather get drunk and rap for the applause be effect to the cause replace the brain for your thoughts and after all i have plenty shit to talk and plenty people to offend to whom it may concern chicken little please please run and tell all your friends that yes indeed the sky's falling i set fire to the rain they don't call me bliss um nothing. When the age of 15, I, I was put in like a facility or something. And yeah. They, they had a like a juvenile hall or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Something like that. And they had a talent show, so I decided to sing "Killing Me Softly" by Lauryn Hill. Yeah. In front of like everybody, just staring at me, and it was like the. And first that was the first time you were ever on stage. Yeah, like on in front of a crowd. So the first time you were ever on stage was like in a juvenile hall. Yeah. Like at the age of 15. Yeah. Wow. So that and that kind of forever shaped the way you were gonna do music from there. Yeah, there from on then there. on is just like, like music. I like school. I sort of gave up on school at a young age. So music was kind of like the thing that sparked my motivation. Of, like really wanted me to, like read a book and just like expand my vocabulary. And stuff like yeah. That. So like music is that. I guess it's kind of cliche to say it, but hip hop like saved my life. Yeah. Because yeah. if I if I didn't start making music and writing and actually wanting to break into the scene then i'd probably be in some yeah messed up stuff i spent like 11 months locked up in a juvenile facility and i bounced from one facility to another to another and it got to the point where i'm just like i, I don't want to do this yeah like i i need to go out there and the whole time like i need to go to california how do you like it out here california i wish i was born here like i never want to leave i feel like i belong here yeah yeah yeah. in houston i never felt like i fit in because i was always kind of odd yeah and even though i i ran with the crowd or whatever like i was always like <laughs> thinking like in some other world and when i jumped into california it's like anybody can be whoever they want i'm the dopest dope you'll ever smoke i'm sweeter than your swish is sweet i do my thing on every beat last verse was complimentary call me this winner's rich bitch i'm here to steal the show away can't you on these punk suckers man marinate and season them place them in the This is what I want to know though, because your story is like a story of struggle, and like a lot of the, a lot of what you rap about is struggle. Yeah. You know, whether it, even if it's just in like love or just being understood or being misunderstood, mm -hmm. do you feel like you're ever going to get to a point in your life where you're going to be able to just go like, ah, like no more struggle? Yeah, I definitely. Maybe like when I'm older, that's. Because I know that the stage I'm at right now, like in my life and everything, that's all I can write about. Yeah. Because I'm barely trying to come out of it. Yeah. Um, you know, my brain is finally realizing certain things the older I get. So right now, like, my mind, I guess my mind right now just wants to, I want to talk about my story. I want to get it out. Yeah, you know, yeah. I feel like it's something I need to do before yeah. I can actually make a song about being happy and, oh, you know, I'm finally where I want to be at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not anywhere where I want to be at yet. You yeah, know, yeah, I want to yeah. keep going. Like, what's going to be, like, the 2020 Bleezy? I, I want to, like, settle down and stuff, but I feel like there's so much I want to get out of my system still. Like, yeah. the rapping stuff, because I see people struggle with that. Like, yeah. juggling the music with, like, relationships. And I went through something like that where, like, people start changing because they think you're changing or whatever. And it's like, I'm focusing on, on myself a lot more yeah. than usual. Okay. Yeah. 
Ain't got to mind for whatever it's worth, at least I, I know.